A very good morning to you. Welcome. We, we are leaving chapter 15, that lovely chapter of the lost things, to go into chapter 16, which um, begins with a parable not spoken to the unrighteous um, Pharisees and scribes as those of chapter 15 were, um, because it starts, and he also said to his disciples, um, I think he is still talking about those who don't serve God properly and who cheat and uh, and and cut corners and because <laughs> the story is about the the rich man who had a steward and the steward um, uh, made put money aside and um, did not manage the stewardship of his lord's m wealth and money and property as well as he should have done. And uh, he was deliberately siphoning off money. And uh, uh, he is told by his, uh, his master that he, will, he's, he wants an account. And the steward knows that he will be discovered to be uh, dishonest. And, um, and he knows that the future is going to be bleak. He will lose his job, he will lose his accommodation, he will become destitute. And he plans for it. He thinks, well, um, if, I, if I use my stewardship powers while I've got them to make other people grateful to me by uh, changing um, the record of what they owe uh, and uh, let them off some of their debt, they will be grateful to me and then when my master throws me out, I will have somebody, I have several people to go to um, who will support me and help me in gratitude. Um, and the master, when he heard about it, commended him for his shrewdness. And that seems a very strange thing, doesn't it? That actually he was being uh, dishonest again um, by getting people to write a different amount. But I think that <clears throat> the point that Jesus is making is that... <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a congested uh, chest this morning. Forgive me. But I think um, here Jesus is saying, you know that the day will come when there will be a reckoning on how you've lived your life and what you've done. You know there'll be a day. And it would be wise to prepare for it. Why would you just carry on regardless, knowing that disaster is coming, that judgment is coming, that the way you've lived and the way you've behaved is going to, is going to be exposed and you are going to suffer for it? Um, this is, I think this really, this story, is an, is, is an extension of the, um, the verse that says, lay up tre treasure for yourself in heaven. Because he calls money unrighteous mammon, unrighteous riches. And we can use what is unholy, that is wealth and money and goods, here in this world we can use those for the kingdom and when we do that we lay up a treasure and we have those those who support missionaries who go out and help other people and bring them to faith those people who are brought to faith they will never know you but in heaven they will be grateful to you for what you have done to support missionaries and to support people who've preached to them and brought them the good news or those people who've worked with them and blessed them, they will bless in return, in gratitude. And this is something we should do. We should lay up treasure. The sort of treasure we can lay up in heaven is not monetary treasure. It is gratitude. It is an, the knowledge that we have helped people in this world so that they are ready for the next. We should not live up this world, in this world, as if the day of reckoning will never come. 
it will come. Even for those people who, who say, well, I don't believe anything happens to you after you die. Well, it's very risky to live your life believing nothing happens to you when you're, that when you're, fit, when you're dead, you're dead. Uh, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? And there is a future. Now is the time to prepare for the future. Now is the time to prepare for what might be in the future. And Jesus commended that steward for his preparation, for his uh, shrewdness, his thought. You know, when we know, he didn't know disaster was coming until he was found out. And his master warned him. And God has warned us all that there will come a day when we will stand before him. And praise God, if you love the Lord Jesus, you've asked the Lord Jesus into your heart and you know him. When you stand in judgment and the Lord says, why should I not punish you for all the things that you did in your life? You can say, Jesus bore the punishment for me. And I thank him for it. And you will be waved through on that passport of the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. It's a strange parable. It has some questions, but I think with all parables, there is one basic, one overriding truth Jesus is teaching. And the, the truth he's teaching here is, be prepared. While you have time, prepare and store up treasure for yourself in heaven, where it won't ever be corrupted, so that when you get there, there will be wealth for you to enjoy. Uh, that you have put by ahead of you. We have to live in the light of eternity, not live as though eternity is never going to happen. It is going to happen. Every day takes us a day closer to it. Not to be depressed, but to be looking forward with great anticipation for that joy of seeing Jesus face to face, for the joy of reconciliation with all those saints that we've known in our lives who've blessed us and when we get there we will bless them because they will have laid up treasure in our lives for which we will bless them so that is in Luke chapter 16 verses 1 to 9 I hope you have a wonderful day God bless you I'll see you tomorrow bye bye